Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a new cross stitch pattern uh, from either a photo or just any other thing that you might have. I've got a few patterns that I've created right here from different things and keep in mind this doesn't just have to be for cross stitch, it can also be for perler beads. Uh, so I've been using this stitch fiddle right here and I've created an account on here so I can save. I just have a free account. Uh, I think you get up to 15 patterns you can store on here. And then uh, after that, if you sign up for the premium, you can have unlimited patterns and more colors and all that. So to start with, you just go to create a new chart. You can choose the craft that you want. If I'm doing cross stitch, then of course I choose cross stitch. But if I'm doing perler bead, I'll do other. Uh, and sometimes I'll do cross stitch for both because it's it's uh, very similar. Sorry, I just hit my brightness key down there. So you pick cross stitch, you can choose which uh, floss you're using, which I uh, pretty much always use DMC. And then you can choose if you want to do it from an empty chart, which a lot of times that's what I do because I don't, I don't do a lot from photos. Uh, I, I'll find a sprite or something online and I'll make my own pattern from that. And, and when you do, you can choose your grid size. So I can say, I'll, I'll usually choose something a lot larger than what I'm gonna need. So maybe five, okay. The free version goes up to 300. So let's do 300 by 300, which is gonna be a lot larger than what I'm actually going to create. Hit create chart, it gives you this blank page. Uh, I'm on a Mac and I have a trackpad, so I can just pinch and zoom to just show you. That's, that's the canvas I'm working with here. And then basically all I do is I will go back up here to the top and I'll see how much of a, a margin I want on the side or, or something because uh, it doesn't really matter and then you can choose your colors over here and you just basically paint in your dots so just like that most of the time I do have a pattern in mind so like for instance we have these sprites from the Legend of Zelda the original Legend of Zelda and I may want to do this guy right here with the red and all that. Now this is going to go away when I, let's see, let me resize this screen real quick. There we go. Y'all can see my nice background there from Link's Awakening. I'm looking forward to that. So the biggest part of this is going to be in choosing your colors. Let's go back to white, get rid of all those. So in choosing your colors, you can add more colors here. And on the free version, you only have a certain limited amount of colors. And on the unlimited version, it, it gives you, I think, all the DMC colors. So this isn't quite all of them here, I don't believe. Uh, but I want to go with something, a darker red. That one looks fairly close. Uh, another thing I recommend is get yourself a uh, floss color chart thing. I can't remember what they're called. I'll throw a picture of it up real quick. So y'all can see it, but get, get yourself one of these because the colors on your computer screen are going to look different than the actual colors uh, of the floss that you're going to use. And even, even this chart isn't going to be exactly right, but it'll, it'll be a lot closer. So anyway, I've got my dark red chosen here. Uh, I want to start and actually you see this, this brown of the shield starts on the edge. So that's kind of where I want to start. And I'm just going to kind of Yes, I'm going to eyeball this. This looks like two pixels right there. And then if I count these, that's one pixel, two pixels for the cross. So one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five brown pixels here, starting two up from the bottom. And I want that brown color now. So that one looks close enough for now. So let's see. Let's go way down here somewhere. And we're just going to say this is our bottom corner. So two pixels up. One, two, three, four, five. The next one is going to start here. Go two down. We're going to leave a spot for the cross. There. And then we can kind of fill this in. Because we know that cross is going to go right there on the shield. And we have two over from the shield. So right there. So this is as far over as it's going. In this top part, we're going to have one stick out there. And it's square. So I can fill all that in. There's our shield. Now, let's go ahead and finish filling in the rest of this 
brown. So I've got two, two, one. And I'm going to count these. I'm going to kind of eyeball this. Looks like two, three. So one, two, three. It's pretty simple once you really get the hang of this. Just you just drawing in your pattern. Now we've got enough that brown or all that brown filled in. We can go back to our dark red and we can fill this in. So then the only color we have left, this is also a lot easier with patterns where you have very few colors. So this other color is sort of a tan and I'm going to show you something here with these colors. You can always remove them so you can click on a color. And let's see if you right click on a color, it'll bring this window up and you can just go remove and it'll take that color away. And you're going to want to do that with most of these, but we want to do a tan color. I can just change this to, let's find a good one. And maybe that'll work. Yeah. To a nice little tan color there. And then we can go put these in. And you'll notice this doesn't really look that great. This color that I'm using now is not really anything close to the color that I want. But that's okay. And I'm going to show you something in just a second. That you can do to help with that. Okay, we've got all our colors in. We notice this color is way too light. So I go back up here and I right click on it. And I just go down and find another one that looks better. Uh, let's try that. That's a little better. It's a little dark, but it, it'll work. And I just noticed we left out Two reds right there. And see, this red color could be changed too, but really you're just using this as a guide. Because uh, this this will, when you print it out, it'll list your colors, but it's not going to, I'm trying to say, you can just use it as a guide. So then once you get your pattern really uh, moved out the way you want it, you can just select this portion. And then you get this little menu and just say crop. And there's your pattern. So start off with more than you need if you're going to be drawing your own pattern draw your pattern and then you can crop it down to size now if you do want to make a new pattern from a photo what we can do is i'm going to take this photo right here open it and so i can choose kind of what my chart's going to look like how many colors i want in it uh, right now it's got the size you can change your size and you'll see you won't see it as much with this but if you put a uh, there's not really that many colors if I go to two colors you'll see a difference but if you put a full picture in here and really I only need in this case four colors uh, but if you put another photo in here with a lot more colors, you'll see the detail. You can change the size. Let's take this back to a hundred save chart. And so then we see it tells me what I've got right here. I want to go up here and edit this. I want to change this color to white. I'll just say blah. And there we go. There's our pattern. So that was a lot easier. And if you're doing something a lot more complicated, then it may be easier to start off this way and then you can go in and edit the pattern uh, to make it the way you want it. So that's basically just a basic little idea of how I create my cross stitch patterns. Uh, check out this uh, stitchfiddle.com. Check it out. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just a nice little tool I found online. It works on Macs and PCs uh, and it's, it's fun to create your own pattern. So check it out. Uh, give it a shot and let me know what you guys come up with.